The way that my work engages with contemporary art and contemporary culture is, is something that I'm always trying to learn and explore. I've, I've always been excited about seeing my work be overgrown or overcome by environment. And the gardens here at Lismore are so beautiful, really, but they also have a wildness to them. Seeing the birds eating the shea butter and thinking about it as this kind of feeding system and just thinking about that kind of cyclical kind of quality of, 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 uh, of how objects become treated in natural space. The title of the exhibition, No More Water, came from uh, rereading a book that I'm quite fond of by James Baldwin, which is called The Fire Next Time. God showed Noah the rainbow sign, and he said, no more water, the fire next time. And this idea that there will no longer be a storm, but that there is another kind of storm coming, a fire storm. Samuel and Space and the New Black Yoga are films that I made several years ago. And for me to see them here in Lismore is, is a fascinating opportunity. Thinking about the landscape that I was negotiating when I was making both those films, one, Samuel and Space, was made in, in Marfa, Texas. And I was obsessed with the dryness of Marfa, Texas. And the New Black Yoga came from an experience that I had while living in Berlin exciting for them to be in, in this space, um, especially with the two films bookending these anxious drawings. I, I think the way that you navigate the, the, the opportunity uh, begins to create a narrative in its own. These anxious characters that are depicted are representative in some ways of myself. And although I had imagined them as self-portraits originally, I realized that it was more of a representation of the collective us. It's a body of work that I think speaks really clearly to our times. In, in the U.S., we're kind of facing some political obstacles and some social obstacles, and we're seeing quite a bit of change. We're seeing a lot of things happen between communities of color and, and, and the police. I think art has a long story to tell, and I think it's an incredibly effective delivery system and tool for change. I think that that tool is a slower, slower tool than, than, than others. It, it's more quiet than activism, but in the end, it gives us an opportunity to have a voice. And the amplification of one's voice is something that I've always been really invested in. And if I can quietly, uh, but intentionally, amplify my voice with these works in, in, in spaces that people get public access to, then I feel like I've left something that I can be proud of.